6650 smartphone uh, by AT&T. Got the red version, but I'm going to review that for you right after I uh, give you guys some updates. So, uh, the Macworld just happened about two days ago on Monday, June 8th, and a bunch of stuff announced. Uh, iPhone 3GS mainly, 3.0 software, Snow Leopard, and I'll be doing a separate video uh, later. And I'm sorry I haven't been up, uh, updating YouTube a lot, but I've just been really busy and I haven't had time. Uh, anyway, so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop into the review. Alright, so the Nokia 6650 is a uh, really nice phone. I've been playing with it for about 20 minutes now. And uh, it seems uh, like a, a good competitor for at t It's got a 2 megapixel camera with flash. Uh, on the sides we have a push to talk button, a volume toggle up and down, and a USB port right there, which is... Kind of an open slider back and forth, but yeah. Okay, on the other side we have a headphone jack. Uh, looks like a two and a half millimeter to me, and then they have a one and a half millimeter head headphone jack. Uh, if you have, uh, actually that's a charging port. Excuse me, that's a charging port, and that's a two and a half millimeter. So yeah, right here is a port for your memory card. It looks like it's mem mini. Uh, Let's see what it could be called. Mini, uh, mini something port. Uh, I, ha I have no idea what it's called. But yeah, mini, uh, crap, forget it. All right. So mini sim, oh gosh, you know what? I'm not even going to try. Nothing along the top except the uh, hinge and nothing along the bottom. Now this phone looks really smooth and really sleek and um, frankly, I like it. Uh, if I had to uh, get any other phone... Probably wouldn't be this one, but I would not mind having this phone. Now, it operates almost the same as my Nokia E62. So I'll push the button right here. I might have to unlock it. And then we open up this phone right here. And I can't really turn the brightness down for you guys. Let me see if I can do that real quick. Probably should have done that before I started the video, but oh well. Let's go to... What would be under tools or settings? Settings, wouldn't it? Configuration, general, maybe the cover display, I don't know. Gee, I don't even know. I'm not used to having this kind of phone. Uh, yeah, let me work on that for a sec. Uh, ooh, enhancement, that sounds really appropriate. Uh, Yeah, well, anyway, so I can't really adjust the brightness, but that's okay. It's got a uh, really nice camera that takes pretty good pictures. And uh, you can also send the pictures over Bluetooth, which is very nice. I've sent a couple pictures back and forth from these two phones, and it really works quite easily. Now, as you see, I have uh, a little icon like this, and it has that, 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 and that. And then this one has the almost the exact same thing. And it probably and it disappears. I was messing around with the settings. I probably screwed it up. Oh well. Anyway, so uh, yeah, this phone runs on the AT&T 3G, uh, 3.6 megabits per second. I want to say uh, it's very nice. It has customizable everything. So as you see right here, I have red around the uh, little keyboard. You can change that to white, green, purple, blue, yellow red and uh, silver I think and it just looks really nice so let me try the camera real quick let me take a picture of this I can find where the camera is oh what was that that was the flash and there's the uh, picture right there it looks very nice there's my camera it's a little creepy but yeah you can also, when you're in an application, you can close it. Oh, never mind. Shows you how much I've been playing with this phone. 
Oh well, anyway, so this is my Nokia, so you've got really good qual quality, and you've got really good reception, and battery life as well. Uh, it's got GPS integrated, video camera, and still frame shots. Uh, you've got Yellow Pages Mobile, a mobile TV, and you can sync this with your computer, add video, or add music, add pretty much anything you want. But one of my favorite features about this phone is when you close it, you've got pretty much the whole menu right here. So let's go ahead and tap that button. And that's a button. They're touch-sensitive buttons, as you can probably see. And we can use the up and down volume arrows to control the phone. So let's go to this again. Camera. Calendar. Timer. Stopwatch. Profiles. Music. And back to camera. So let's try out the timer. Open. And then you can use the, the up and down volume toggle to change how many seconds. So we'll start that. 14, 13, and this is really nice. I mean, I can find this handy so you don't have to open it and go to uh, all that stuff in uh, the actual menus or whatever. But uh, it's still, it, I, I'm not sure if it would mess up in your pocket. Oops. Timer's done. Stop. Uh, exit. And I'm just, I, I don't know if this would hit in your pocket or something because I, I haven't had it. It's not my phone. Okay, stop. All right. No exit. Mm, it's got the, uh, let's see, stopwatch, start, that's fun, stop, reset, uh, yeah, that's kind of cool too, but it's kind of gay, so, exit, uh, and now, it kind of annoying because you can't really go back, everything you have to exit and then do it again, but, <clears throat> that's fine, profiles, open, and you can change this to silent, while you're not even opening it. So you can be in a meeting and just click that, silent, and yeah. So uh, that is the Nokia 6650 smartphone by AT&T. Uh, check me out at masterasm.com and don't forget to uh, subscribe. And follow me on Twitter. Yeah, forget about that.